what is fly fishing? To catch a fish on a fly rod, you must learn the art of fly casting, working the line into the air and directing it forward to a gentle landing on the water. Attached to the heavier fly line is a clear tapered nylon leader to which is tied a handcrafted artificial fly made from feathers and fur created to represent insects and minnows, fish food. What is the appeal of catching a fish on a fly? First, you must enter the fish's world and find where he lives, what he eats and how he feeds. In this concentration on nature, you become lost in the challenge and the beauty of fly fishing. A certain dialogue with nature is born. You are far from the trappings of civilization and the worries of earning a living. Your mind is clear and no one has as much fun as a fly fisher. <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna lay that off. Again, we're using two flies. I know you like to use two dry flies. And I'm, I'm a big fan. Setting up for a situation which is a dry fly situation. Now, a lot of you going to say, wait a minute, you're going to use, you're, you're 62 years old, Dennis, and you're going to tell us that you're going to be able to see a size 24 fly. And I'm going to tell you, no, I can't see a size 24, 26. I have a tough time even with an 18. However, I can see an 18. And many, many years ago, old guy friend of mine, I hope you're going to meet before this production is over, that's my friend Emmett Heath. And I experimented with the infamous scum suckers of the green, using the two fly dry fly system to be able to see micro sized flies. We call them micro flies, whether it's a micro betis is the most popular name for a pseudochlorion, which is what I call a damn small betis. That's uh, uh, DSB for you guys that like. Uh, PMDs and uh, BWOs and like to do it like that. So what we're going to do is realize that this time of year, and we've take that into consideration, now there's another tip, we've got to consider the time of the year. This is betas or blue wing olive time. So are we going to put a size 12 fly on? No. But I'm going to put on a bright one that I can see, size 18 betas. They're going to laugh at that fly, and we're not going to catch anything probably on it. But about 18 inches away, and it can be 18 to 9 inches, we're going to attach the 26. Yes, the 26. Now, am I going to be able to see it? Nope. But what I am going to be able to see is that 18 and I'll be able to look around that 18 for any fish activity and then I'm going to come up with some more tips about how you fish it. So the two flies which most people think about is two flies being a hopper dropper or a dry with a, a merger or a nymph now becomes two very small dry flies. One you can see and one Maybe if you're a little younger than my 62 years age, you'll be able to see a 26. But I've even seen some youngsters that can't see a 26. So let's get started, and we'll give it a shot and show you how they'll make that work. And fish that are eating mergers and f covering fish that are eating duns, and with this high vis dun, you can see it. You can pick it up real well. It's got a real nice high profile. Uh, the sun's dropping down, and that's always a problem in the fall your time's going to be compressed. There's nothing better than a long summer day where you get 14, 15 hours of fishing. And when you start fishing the, the seasons, and that's another thing that we're, we're going to be covering is what to expect in different seasons. We've got one of these golden opportunity days in November, and we're going to take advantage of it. Now, one of the things that I'm going to do is go reach into my bag and as we talked about the tool just a few minutes ago, uh, I'm going to pull out one of the things I was showing you, which is my lanyard, and we're going to put that on. Uh, you notice I'm in my drift boat, my fly pod, and I don't uh, really need uh, to carry a vest with me because the boat's right here. And one of the things I like to do a lot is these smaller back uh, 
I try to tell them a backpack. You may carry them on your back, but they're a fanny pack or a belt pack, but they're little tackle packs. And as I've been talking here, I've, I've shown you all different colors and all different brands. And I'm gonna tell you the most important thing to remember is you're small like me, is to make sure that it is reasonably waterproof, or at least your fly boxes are, with these belt packs. A lot of guys like to put them on their chest, because they put them on their chest and they say, if I'm getting them wet, then I'm in deep trouble. But that's something to remember, because too many times I've come home and had to dry flies. And I do a lot of donated trips for uh, uh, science schools and uh, cancer, uh, uh, breast cancer research, uh, melanoma research, you name it. I do, I do a lot of uh, where I take somebody who's donated money fishing. And one of the first things that they're fly fishermen they notice is you have your flies marked by hatches and types of flies. And I go, yeah, I got box caddis, I got box caddis emergers, but right now I got blueing olive box. In this is every size of blueing olives known to man. 26s. All the way down to my uh, uh, super big betas, all the way down to the 16s. So right now, most of these fish, there are a few midges out there, and I've thrown a few midges in with this just to know that they might be out at the same time, even though this is the blueing olive box. This is about the only box I need to walk around here. There's actually some emergers in here, some other nymphs. I don't need to have a whole bunch of different boxes. So in here is what I need. A feeding belt for me. So I don't have to worry about dropping two things in the bushes. I don't know how many wading belts I've lost taking my fanny pack belt pack off. Now there's a couple things that I am going to put in it because uh, we're going to have to be going with some light tippet. I've got my little tippet uh, together with that and I have my floating on here. I've got pretty much everything I need right here and I've thrown in my box. I want to make sure this 18 that I'm going to put on is one that is visible, that I can see. So I'm probably going to go to a white wing 